Hi, I'm Dee from Dee Lovey Life and welcome to my channel. I am currently doing the 28 day cleaning routine challenge that is hosted by Sophia at My Great Challenge as well as my other friends here on YouTube. So please check out the playlist and their channels are all listed down below. So today I'm going to focus in the area where I normally hang out every day, where I create YouTube videos, where all the magic happens. Just kidding. And um, I need a dust and I need to organize and so forth. So let me walk you through it. Okay, so now that I basically have maintained the back room and everything, it's now time for me to actually go through this portion of our home. This is where I have my temporary desk away from my desk at the moment. And I was doing some things on there earlier and that over there which I will take you for a minute this I need to figure out something this is my husband's dumping station um, he tends to put all his stuff on there which is fine although this right here is starting to get out of hand as you can see but he is working on some electronic stuff and so he's just kind of putting that there for right now but I need to figure something out here maybe i really need to get like a basket or a crate of some kind uh up here is all of his stuff again i don't really go through any of that the only thing that i really do is just kind of dust and all that this right here is from christmas <laughs> and i really didn't want to put this up in the attic because it's a candle from home goods and i'm afraid it's going to actually melt up there so I just kind of placed it right there for right now and I haven't done anything about it <laughs> since uh, January so I got to figure something out for that as well. Okay moving on this is the area where we will keep our wine and that's pretty much it and we also use it for my iPod station yes I still have my old iPod I still listen to it, it has the radio and all that on there so I do enjoy that. This one here though, I've had it now for several years and I haven't used it. And I'm thinking my mother would be more happier to actually see photos. So I need to figure out how to transfer and you know, those kind of photo things. So I can definitely give her that in her area. But for right now, that's just been there for like now a couple of years. These have been some <laughs> gifts from Christmas, so I need to make room in this little wine rack here. And this is also from Christmas, so I guess I really need to go over some stuff and get rid of things and put away Christmas stuff. Down in here we have items, liquor, accessory, bar accessory. This was actually a piece from a from our formal dining room set we have a massive formal dining room table that can fit like 10 to 12 people and I have a hutch and credenza and this right here is a um is mainly used for like a bar this part actually comes up and then all of your liquor could be displayed there we only use it Every so often, I've been trying to get rid of this, but my husband, I don't know, he's always, you know, he's such a rat pack. So, um, I'm, I can't really go through this. He, uh, the husband probably would go ape if I did without him. <laughs> so, uh, don't you hate that? But, you know, it is our home and I gotta be respectful, so I'll wait until we can do this together and get rid of whatever we can. And then I'd like to get rid of this piece as well as all the other pieces in my garage at the moment and get something a little bit more contemporary modern. So I need to make room there. Uh, this is a thrift store fine haul here. I have my tote, which I carry all of my stuff that I am currently working on or my files or paperwork. I like to keep it into this tote. This tote is awesome. It has a handle here and I can take it upstairs down here, but I prefer to leave everything down here. Of course, everything is just tossed in there right now, but I need to reorganize that as well. And there are some things that can go upstairs in my desk. This right here is my Pendleton 
from my aunt and I carry all of, you know, my electronic gadgets all go in here so it's all in one place. Here is another bookshelf here that we had to convert for storage for my dishes. Because I lost space from having my my hutch in the formal dining room, I had to place those certain items in my kitchen cabinets and my cupboards there. And these bulky items like plates and all that, I had to take them out of the kitchen and then I just decided to put it here. So I have my bowls, my plates, and my big salad bowl and my pasta dishes right there. This actually used to house all my messy paperwork clutter. It used to be a mess. And I'll try to find an old video and I'll place it here. So, I mean, this has come a long way. I haven't really put clutter here. As I just said that, I just saw this. <laughs> Except for these. These are my books that I'm also kind of reading and I'm doing some projects with these. So I'm having them here. But I think these can also be in our entertainment center. I've been thinking about that lately. So I might just do it today. I found this and I think it might be something that my husband was working with over the weekend so I need to make sure I give that back to him. This doesn't belong here so that can go and then these are my additional silverware and that really can go into one of the drawers here. Now these drawers These drawers hold all of my table linens and um, napkins. I already decluttered all of this. And um, I just had to throw these in because I didn't know where else to place those. But since they're for the table, I figured it'd be great in here. Again, here is a couple more. And then my Christmas ones. And that's it. Remember that basket that I was telling you that I found at the thrift store during my thrift store hauls? I figured I'm going to use this. And I'm going to place all of my husband's little gadgets there. Just so that it's all contained in one. Ah. This is where I store most of my candle stuff and everything, but I just can't, I don't have enough time to go through that right now. So we're just gonna press on. finally unpacking this gift but I'm going to take the white in the garage refrigerator there and then this one here I was like what is this why is it in a separate um like glass wooden box thing it's pretty cool but I really don't need that box even though the box is pretty neat but mm, yeah I can probably get rid of that but that is pretty cool though
the books and magazine I'm currently looking through at the moment and for right now I think I'm gonna place it in here. I might start putting my books in there. I'm not too sure but for now that's where it's gonna go. Okay, this is where I keep some additional serving bowls and plates in case I need them. And I have some of my mom's picture frames that are um, from her home. And I really need to take the time and hang them up in her area. And that would give me a little bit more room in this little area here. As I was dusting, I was thinking to myself, why do I have this huge salad bowl here? I think it'd be better if it was back to the original spot where I had it, which is right here. So I figured, okay, let me go ahead and rearrange things in here real quickly and voila, it fits better in there. in the middle of cleaning it's yeah it's time for me to make dinner and so I'm gonna make some pasta something just real quick but um you know I gotta do what I gotta do in the meantime yeah this is kind of like behind the scenes Some items I need to put away in my mom's area. And then I have two boxes of some silverware and those are gonna be placed with the table linens in the drawers and some things that need to go upstairs, but I'm having a little pile of dirt by the door. And I gotta get to my bags of electronics. Don't you just love putting stuff away like this? Oh my gosh, I gotta untangle them and then, yeah. I found this trick that if you can find little plastic little box containers, small size of course, you can easily put those in those boxes that way it doesn't get as tangled very easily. So I might try that idea. I really like that. So just kind of putting all this stuff away. And of course my wireless headphones, I love those things that get stuck to my hair. <laughs> just trying to figure out now things that are gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna put a little pile there so that I don't have to go back and forth up and down those stairs. Uh, up to my office. I'm just going through my tote bag now and trying to figure out the things that I really don't need in that tote bag anymore that could be easily transferred upstairs. And of course receipts. It's never ending of receipts. Because I care for my mom, I gotta make sure everything is all organized. So I'm going through some of my, you know, mail, stuff that I've kind of thought, well, maybe I can do this a little bit later. That was earlier this week, and yeah, just kind of catches up. So just trying to do some of the paper clutter real quick in my tote, make sure that it's all organized, and take things that need to go back upstairs in my office and things that just needs to be addressed.
Now this is something that I do on a weekly basis as part of my routine. Sometimes you'll see my planner, paper clutter. See, and I got some things that I found at the thrift store to help me organize. So those are some projects that I am currently working on and found a coupon from Michael's. Gotta keep that one. <laughs> home for this Christmas gold candles underneath my kitchen counter along with all my vases. So going back to my office in this tote here, I love this tote. Again, it's from Home Goods. I just love this thing. So um, these are some of the items I'm going to keep in my tote just so that I remain focused and know what's my priority coming this week or next week to work on. And I keep some of my planners and stuff like that. And I thought this was kind of cool. I got this for Christmas from Moneda. It's like post-its and I got to remember to start using that. So that's going to go and be kept in my tote. But for the most part, that is it. Doesn't that look so much better? Well, that's a wrap for day 27. Thanks so much for watching and joining me on this series. I really appreciate all your comments and just your cheers and just, you know, all of my new subscribers. I hope you guys continue to watch my journey here on YouTube. And please check out the playlist down below with all the other participants who are joining this challenge, like my friends, Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life, Melody at Transforming Melody, we have Laitha at Indian Mom Vlogs, Teresa at Yellow Daisy, Deirdre at Night Designs, we have Sherry at Simple Sherry, we also have Jackie at uh, Jackie's Domesticated Life. We have Beatrice at Bum B DIYs. We also have, um, oh, we also have another channel who also added, which is, I believe it's Happy Wife, Happy Life. So please give them a big thumbs up and check out their channels. And I will see you tomorrow on the last day on day 28. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Bye.